We're gonna show you how to get from Paris to Cannes in the south of France on the high-speed train. Are we ready to go to Cannes? We're ready to get to the coast. Yeah. Au revoir, Paris. It's on to the French Riviera and Cannes. One of the best ways to get around France is by the high-speed train. It's fast, economical, comfortable, and a lot of fun. It's also a great way to see some of the French countryside. So here's what the train looks like. The TGV train is France's inner city high-speed train. It reaches speeds up to 180 miles per hour and has two different classes. But before we get to all that and get off the train in Cannes, let's show you all the details on how to book your ticket. Our trip starts in Paris at the Gare de Lyon train station and five hours later, we'll arrive at the Gare de Cannes train station. So first off, we recommend you download the Omeo app. It's one of the most trusted and reliable travel apps at this time. You can book everything from trains, flights, and even rental cars on this app. It's safe and easy to use. You can pay for and download all your tickets right to this app. We use this app for all our travel by train while in France and we had no issues. You can also go to omeo.com and book everything on a desktop. Let's do that because it's easier to see. The desktop version is very similar to the app and easy to use. So let's get started. First off, you're going to want to enter in how many people are traveling, adults and children alike, and it will also ask you for the ages. Then enter your departure destination, Paris, France, and where you're traveling to, Cannes. And it's going to ask you for the train station. For us, it's the Gare de Cannes train station. Simply put the date you want to travel and then hit search. Once the results show up, at the top you can pick train, buses, or flights. For us, we're going to stay on trains and you can see all the different trains for that day from Paris to Cannes. As you scroll, you can see all the different departures and fares and it will also label the fastest and cheapest departure times. Once you select the departure time, the next page will ask you the type of class of service, standard or first class. We chose first class because it was not that much more expensive and we enjoyed the larger seats and table between us. So you can also select a fully refundable ticket, but that's quite a bit more expensive and we only recommend doing that if you're unsure about your travel. So on the right, you can see the total fare for a family of four is 400 euro. This is the current fare hypothetically booking more than a month out. When we were in France, we booked about a week prior and the fare was 700 euro. So the later you book, the more expensive it's gonna be. All right, all that's left to do is to enter your payment information. Once you submit that, you're going to get a QR code in this app with your tickets. You'll also get an email confirmation with tickets as well. So that's about it. Pretty simple to do. Now that we have our tickets, it's time to make our way to the train station in Paris. And there's two ways to get to the train station. We're headed to Paris Gare de Lyon train station, and we can either Uber there or catch the metro. And the Uber was just going to take too long. So now we are hauling butt to catch the metro and it's actually the quickest way there if you don't have a lot of luggage. We only have carry-ons so the metro worked for us. If you have a lot more luggage, an Uber might be the way to go. Once off the metro, we had to make our way up and out and across the street to the main train station. The Gare de Lyon train station is big and busy and can be intimidating, but we're going to show you how to navigate it. I think we're looking for all the same. The station is divided into three halls, which are like terminals. So the first thing you're going to want to do is look at the board and figure out which hall you need to go to. We recommend getting to your hall at least 45 minutes prior to your train departure time. Now that's probably more than what you need, but if you're traveling for the first time through the station like we are, we like to have that extra pad. Additionally, the halls are large and there's plenty of shops and places to get snacks if you need them. Now here's a very important travel tip. All the announcements are in French, so once you're in your hall, we recommend that one of the adults pay attention to the board because around 20 minutes prior to your departure time, they're going to announce the platform for your train, and then everyone makes a mad dash to get in line. The platform is the numbered or lettered gate that your train will depart from. All right, I think we're in the right spot. Now we just have to wait for our platform to be announced, and they announced that 20 minutes prior to departure. So it is a little stressful because everything is written in French, obviously, and you just have to find the correct hall to go to. We found a worker and he helped us out. I picked the right hall because I saw it on the screen, but I just wanted to confirm. And now we're in hall two waiting for our platform and our train. And we're already in the same country. We don't need to go through customs or I think we have to go through maybe security. No, no security. No security. Okay, we just get on the train then. 
I don't even see metal detectors. I, there might be metal detectors when we walk through our platform. We'll let you know. Yeah. All right, we found out what platform we're on. We're going to platform 19, and they put them up about 20 minutes prior to departure, and uh, there's a little bit of a line. Now, here's another very important gotcha. If you notice, the board said Nice, not Can. Now, the board only displays the train's last stop, so the board did not show Can, which is the stop before Nice, so you have to know that, which can be confusing. All right, we got in through security. That was pretty simple. They just scanned our barcode. Now we're trying to find our coach and our seats. Woo! We've mentioned this in our other videos and I'll say it again. If you haven't traveled by train before, definitely do not delay getting on the train. The train will leave you. They're not gonna make announcements and they're not gonna come looking for you. So it's best to get on the train as quickly as possible and find your seat. And by the way, it's good to get there early so you can get some of the luggage bin space. Like on most trains, if you're in first class, you're going to be in one of the coaches up front. We are in coach number one. Luckily, we were there early enough to find bin space for our bags, but this is what it looks like when the baggage bins are full. As you can see, the bins get pretty full with all the luggage. And on this train, the racks overhead were only big enough for small backpacks or bags. Alright, we made it to our seats in time and now we're off. The most stressful part of the day is done. We made it. <laughs> I think we have five hours from Paris to Cannes. Okay, here's another important note. The train is not non-stop. So you can see our stops are first gonna be Marseille, Toulon, Saint Raphael, and then Cannes. The stops are quick, no more than about 10 minutes, and they are planned in the total travel time. All right, first stop on our way to Cannes is Marseille. And we're on the coast now. And I can definitely feel it. It's 8.15 at night and it is warm. It's about 85 degrees and the humidity is about 100%. So it's a little more humid than it was in Paris. And that makes sense because we're on the coast. So I thought I'd jump off the train and just get some fresh air. And I've never been to Marseille, France until now. What'd you just say? It's humid here, man. I know, look at that hair, dude. Oh. <laughs> I was just talking about the humidity. So wait, don't we have like one more stop until we get We've got Cam? Toulon, one more stop, and then Cannes. Before we knew it, we were back on the rails again. The girls decided to stay inside and enjoy the air conditioning and take a little cat nap. So here you can see our accommodations are quite comfortable. We've got a large table between us, a great window, a lamp, and there's also free Wi-Fi on board with our ticket. And I don't know if all the coaches have this, but in first class, we have two electrical outlets, which were very helpful for the long ride. You do need a European adapter, and we always recommend traveling with one or two. They're fairly inexpensive on Amazon. There's a link in the description below to Brooks Amazon store where you can find them. All right, stop number two on the train to Cannes, too long. Got two more stops to go, and we'll be in Cannes. At each stop, passengers do get off the train, so be sure to stay out of the way. And as always, being a smart traveler, just be sure to watch your bags. If you've seen our other videos, you know we like to explore. The kids always like to check out the cafe, and this train has an upper level food cafe on the coach. This train did not serve us meals, but they did have a great cafe with a ton of snacks and drinks that you could buy a la carte. There's also this small lounge in the cafe car, which was nice to take in the views from the upper level. You can see some of the wineries. Oh, dude, look, there's a castle up there. Whoa. Okay, before we get to our snacks, you know I like to always show a quick glimpse of the water closet, so here it is. Clean and adequate enough. Now it's time to head back to our seats and dive into our snacks. Always be careful heading downstairs. What did we get from the cafe? Cabin cheese. 
gum leaves. Oh, I got it. Iced tea. Pink champagne. What else? So here's the tally. We got two sandwiches, two waters, a beer, two iced teas, some chocolates, and some gummies. And the grand total was 41 euros. Not necessarily the cheapest, but what do you expect on a train ride rolling through the south of France? But these awesome views at sunset make it all worth it. The last few stops are all along the coast, so we're getting close to Cannes. All right, this is our third stop, Saint Raphael. Uh, we're pretty much just in a train station, not much to see here. So the good news is the next stop is Cannes and it's only about 30 minutes away. Are you ready to be there? Yeah, but we don't have this stop. Okay. No, it's the next one. Yes, it's not this one. Yes, it is. The next this one. Uh, the next time the train stops, we're going to be there. So okay, I spoke a very it's okay. distinctively about this. Do not ever say cans. It's can, like soda can. That's it. Yeah, mom. There's no S. You did not. Speak. Yes, 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 we did. We had this, didn't we have this discussion last you night? Did. Who? Yep. We all did. I wasn't there. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. So, you just I decided not, not to listen. Say an S at the end. I Please get it out of your head now. So, so where are we going to be at? Can. Thank you. It's can. Parker, where are we going? Parker, huh? Where are we going? Can. Oh, sorry, I'm watching Stranger Things. Okay. Oh, okay. good. So, Brooke, Ginger where are we Stranger. going? Can I have some tea? Can I have some more? No. If you can't tell, after 5 hours and 15 minutes, we are ready to get off this train. It was fun, but we are excited to be in Can. We are in Can. We are. Let's go. And everybody is dressed up. Yeah, we're miss we missed the party. There was a big party already. I don't know what it is. Everybody was dressed up. Here we go. So the moment we step off the plane, we see these guys. Well, it looks like they had a fun party. So we arrived at the Garda Can train station. It's the most central train station in the center of Can. Our Airbnb was less than a mile away and the night was beautiful, so we thought we'd walk the streets to get there. And, and we were gonna cap it, but it's such a nice night and it's pretty lively. All the streets are lit pretty well and it's only a half a mile to our Airbnb. So we are walking the streets of Cannes and gonna just kind of get a feel for the uh, town on our way to our Airbnb. It's a lot easier and quicker, I think, just to walk. So love these streets, little uh, brick cobblestone streets. Kind of reminds me of some of the cities we were in in Italy. What do you think in yeah, the first five so minutes? Far. I want to know the party that's going on first. <laughs> and I'm second sad that I don't have an outfit to join everyone. <laughs> so we're walking right down the main drag of Cannes. It almost reminds me of Split in Croatia, like the promenade. Completely. It looks awesome though. Everybody's out. There's so many restaurants, shops, gelato. I mean, this place looks Awesome. It's slamming right now. I'm digging it so far. This is a Sunday night. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. This is a Sunday night. <laughs> that's right. This is Sunday night at about 11 p.m. in Cannes. So you can see it's still pretty lively and there are a ton of people out. We are so excited to be here and this walk to our Airbnb actually gave us a good preview of the town. Most of the central part of Cannes along the water is easily walkable. All right, we are almost there. How are we doing, Cannes? My arm hurts. I know, we're almost there. I can see our building. And we're walking by all these nice yachts. Reminds me of the lazy cat. The lazy cat in Havar? Mexico. Oh, Mexico, yeah. But I see our building. I can see our balconies lit up. And we're going to be looking across this harbor. There's a huge party going on on the other side of the harbor. We can hear the music and see all the smoke. All right, we're almost there. We are so excited to finally be here in Cannes and on the French Riviera. Stay tuned for more of our videos because we can't wait to share them with you. Here's a little glimpse from the terrace of our Airbnb. All right, it's about 11 o'clock in Cannes and the place is hopping. I know you can't probably see me right now, but we'll give you an overview of our flat tomorrow when it's daylight and hit the town.
Alright, that wraps up this video. If you got any questions about taking the train from Paris to Cannes, please comment below. And also stay tuned because we are so excited to show you our adventures in Cannes. Coming soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more American Travel Family Adventures!